Hi folks, Robin here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the MLD Trailstar and all the accessories that I've got to go with it. So let's get stuck right in and get this bad boy pitched. So what you want to do first is just peg out the five main corners. And you need to have this quite loose. <laughs> you need to get in underneath it. When you're doing this, just make sure these are pulled as far back as possible so you've got room to tighten it later on. Right, so that's all five corners pegged out. Now I'm going to get in underneath it and put the first trekking pole in. I've got this set at 125 centimetres. So you'll see here, I've got a little carabiner clip. This clips into here. You get your second trek and pull. That goes in there. And then just plop that there. Get your next tent peg. Try and line it up with the, the pole inside. I'm right up at the, the tripod now. And then just loosely peg in that. Right, so you've got the rough shape. Next, I would just go around each point and just tighten this up. As you can see, there's absolutely acres of room in here. This can sleep two very comfortably. It can sleep three comfortably, four at a push. But for just me, this place is a palace. There's so much room for me and all my gear. Come on, let's get inside. It's hard to sort of capture all the room that I've got in this thing. But uh, what I'll do now is show you the Ookworks bathtub ground sheet that I've got. The good thing about this is you only need one additional peg because you use the existing pegs for the rest of it. So what I tend to do is I've got it hooked in the corner there and then I'll peg out this side this one peg, just like this, and then I will run my hands around the back of the trail start, and then peg out this side. Which is over to the very left corner and pegs here. So there you go. There is my bathtub. As you can see, if it rains heavily during the night and water was to come in, I would be protected because I've got a good two, three inches of bathtub floor there. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but what I've done is I've painted on some silicone, got a little silicone pattern here and this just gives a bit of traction um, for my sleeping mat to, just to stop it sliding a bit. It does work to an extent, um, but yeah, so my body would be here and I'd have all this space for gear that I want to keep dry, but I'd also have this side where I put my rucksack and all the other stuff. Whenever I post photos of the Trail Star on uh, social media, I always get a lot of questions. It generates a lot of interest. Even if I've got it pitched out in the hill and somebody walks past, uh, they'll always ask what it is. They've been out for a while now, but I thought I would add my 10 p's worth as well. The main questions I get asked is, is it good in the wind? Uh, in short, yes. It's very taut. It sheds wind like a boss. Uh, no complaints there whatsoever. 
occasionally you might get a night where the wind will turn around and head in to the entrance um, it's not happened to me yet but I know it has happened to a few people in the past you do have to be mindful of that people swear by these Chris Townsend's been using one of these for years uh, question two midges yes I have been midging this before as you can see <laughs> there's no protection from midges at all so this is predominantly for autumn, spring and winter as well. I wouldn't use this in the height of summer unless I was summit camping. If I was down in the glens, no chance. But that leads me to my second piece of gear which is a Valley and Peak Ultralight bivvy bag. Now, it's not a bivvy bag as such, it's more like a secondary sort of inner. Um, and this weighs it was 210 grams and what I'm going to do I'll bring you back in a moment is I'm going to set this up put it inside the tarp because this is the first time I've used this so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about so just give me a moment and I'll be right back so what I've done is I've put my sleeping mat in first so I'm not battling with that once I'm inside the tarp now I'll just line this up now when I got this made I asked for a left zip but if you ask Mark from Valley and Peak, you can get two on either side or you can just have the one on whichever side you want. So, I believe this clips in these little mitten hooks here. This is a learning curve for me, so please bear with me. I don't know if you noticed, but I sleep with my feet out towards the door. A lot of people with trail stars will sleep along the back, which is an option if it's really wet and stormy outside. I don't know, I just like to be able to have my feet that way. Don't know why, it's just what I've done. I'm actually thinking it's not going to work here. I think these are too close together and I think this is going to have to be pegged at the back because I wouldn't want that in my face if I could avoid that. I told you this was a learning curve. Right, I'll bring you back. I'm going to have it across the back now. Right, folks, that's the setup now. It's quite low. It's a bit lower than what I thought it would be. Let's give this a shot. I'm certainly glad I put the uh, roll mat in first. And I've got freshly cut grass all over me. How'd I get in? Oh. oh, it's really slidey. I'm going to have to paint some silicone on this, is it? So, this is interesting. I don't know if I like this. To fit in it, my head right up the top here and my feet are touching the bottom there and I'm only 5 foot 10 Ooh. I mean it's better than getting eaten alive by midges but at the same time I don't know, I can't see me using this it's like sleeping in, inside a Toblerone tube oh. I mean there, there is room to move and it's, Maybe just need a bit more practice. You can see here, you've got your mesh so I can still see it. And then you've got protection from the rain and the wind down at your feet. Hmm. The jury is out on this one. Jeez, oh, I've lost it. <laughs> On a really bad midget day, you would welcome something like that. It's got some venting at this end as well. It's just... It has got the ability to go higher. I maybe need to shorten these cords and try and lift that even further up. You can see there, 
it has got the ability to go a couple inches up, but this is made for various different shelters. It's a multi-purpose type of bivvy bag. Well, folks, if I'm brutally honest, I cannot see me using that. I think in summer, I would just take my um, Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo tent with me. And if I was to use this in winter, and I wanted a bit of extra protection, I'll take the Alpkit Cloak bivvy bag with me. You can see I actually going on eBay. I'll send you a link if you want one. <laughs> but yes, this is the trail star. Um, for all those people who've asked about it, if you've got any other questions, please just drop one in the comments box below. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.